All right, so we got here about two hours early, so uh, gonna have ourselves an ridiculously overpriced beverage and uh, hopefully make sure this flight goes a little bit faster. Cheers. All right, arrived at my location with Chad. And of course, welcome. Thank you, sir. Nothing like a cold beer after a big old plane ride. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Welcome to Austin, buddy. Yeah. Look at my car right. What time is it right now? 1.20. What kind of sausage is this? It's a classic beef and pork. You know, kind of right down the middle. A little savory, a little spicy. All right. And it was cold smoked with post oak, but then it was finished off with a little mesquite. And... Oh, plump. Maybe you bounce this thing off the ground. <laughs> hey, we're going to talk about this in a future video, but remember that one day where we were working together on a Saturday? And I don't remember that. that must have been, <laughs> well, how do you that must, not remember? That must have been a few beers deep. Uh-huh. Yeah, we worked like a few shifts the other day. Yeah, we, we realized we don't work well. Yeah, they, don't, they wouldn't put us <laughs> in a professional setting. Hey, in the in the, when we were prepping though, that was a team, but just not on the truck. Oh, yeah, in the prep kitchen all day, but yeah. <laughs> mustard first or without mustard? Yeah, okay, just give it a give it a give it a raw dog taste right. first. It's pretty good, dude. Pretty good. Does it blow your mind? <laughs> good morning, Brad. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Thanks for jumping in bed with me, waking me up. Oh, of course. Stuff. What is this one? What is it called? Yeah. Cometeer. Is that like that frozen pod? Yeah. Brad make me coffee in the morning. Yeah, I'm really slaving away over here. I'm a tear. It's pretty good. Headed over to j and It's funny, I just spent the last two days cooking briskets and uh, <laughs> oddly enough, because you and I have been talking about barbecue for the last like three hours, I'm like, man, I could go for some barbecue. It's like, let's cook barbecue for three days straight, then go get some barbecue, right before we start the barbecue class. Yeah. We're not obsessed. Going. Hello. What's going on? Not much. How are you? Doing well. <laughs> what about this guy? Uh, how are you doing? What's up? I'm good. Not much. What's up, Joe? Hey, man. What's the smokehouse? Yeah, man. How are you? Yeah, man. How about you? Good to see you. Nice. What's up, Joe? What's going on? Oh, what'd you get in town? And yesterday, some drunk came through, and I'll show you the pictures. Um, just smashed right into my hitch. Oh, yeah. Okay. And my hitch lock got stuck inside his bumper and just yanked it right off, but he scooted the thing like three feet. A couple beef ribs on, a couple of butts. Oh, buddy. You got some more jerky going? More jerky going? Yep. Okay. Ooh, good snack, buddy. Looking good. We got what are we going to get? We're going to get some content. That's what we're going to get. Uh, uh, awesome. That's a meaty guy, yeah. too. Oh, thank you, sir. Oh, uh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. You don't mind eating after me. You need to try this. No, you don't My first bite brisket in about six I months, I think. No way. It's been a long time. That's so good. Yep. Yep. Here we go, man. You want to take an Instagram picture? Of course. Hey, the turkey I could eat on my diet, actually. Thoughts on JNL? Fantastic quality. Yeah. I mean, everything was so good. Like, you yeah. can't get wrong. Good sides, good meat, awesome pit, great service. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it was a thank you, Ben. Perfect experience. If you guys don't want to wait in long lines and you're in Austin on the weekend, check out JNL. This is after experiment. I karate chopped that brisket in half. Experiment, how'd you think it went? Uh, it was along the lines of what I expected, yeah. but it wasn't exactly what I expected. I mean, it's okay. It's a good one. I'm gonna tag this. Uh, I'm gonna tag your uh, video onto this later. All right. So, have a club, boys. What's up, man? My <laughs> <laughs> buddy Jay Austin. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. What it looks like to make that YouTube money. What is it? Hello Fresh ad? Yeah. Hey. Barbecue class day. Like one or day point five. It's the meet and greet where we have a couple of cheeky cold ones and that. Uh, Break the ice, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, you, uh, you asked for all small meals, right? 
Mark? Okay. No, this was a favor. Cool, thanks. We're stoked to smoke wings. Are you frying them up right now? Uh, I was going to fry up just a little snack. Oh, I literally yeah. just pulled them off to crisp up the skin. Dip them in some buffalo sauce. Oh yeah. It's a buffalo. Glass alum right here. Yeah. Boss, thanks for having you over again. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Look at that seasoning form right there. Work as hard as this guy and you can work at Leroy and Lewis yeah, too. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Not a crazy thing when it happens, we just gotta take the out of town. Make sure it's not burning too bad. And then uh all right, we got a class going on right now. We got a full service going on. There's Brad over there. I'm exhausted by you right now. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. It's been, uh, <laughs> it's been one of those weeks. Yes, sir. I fucking hate for Oh, shit, you're still recording? <laughs> Dude, this line is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Line is crazy. So we're gonna do a hog sandwich, hog and brisket on the plate. Right. Anything else, guys? And I'll just hang tight right here in the window while I get it prepped up for you. Thank you so much for coming today. I appreciate you. Yeah, yeah. Well, thanks for uh, following through, doing your own investigation. Oh, can you grab me some skinny skin skins, buddy? On the chinny chin chin. Some money drizzle right there. Oh, man. dude, that's my skill set, right? That's that's the thing I'm known for to myself. Sorry, your guys still look so good that I just need to get a video of it. So, some chips. It's gonna be crawled. My favorite barbecue I did not cook. Enjoy. Oh, hey, I don't care. Hold on, man. Let me see how I cut these ribs. Everybody knows the rules. Don't be a hero. Oh, 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 That's what I said. Oh, don't film. Stop oh, filming. Oh, oh. That's Stop going filming. on. Yeah, cheesy collie. Let's get some booty out there. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. I think you do. Wow, man. My life would have been so much easier if I could have just done this. <laughs> I guess it doesn't even matter. It huh? doesn't matter. Still suck at cutting ribs. <laughs> So if you guys know this, this is like still kind of under. So if you see like the striations of me, uh, like the way that the lean runs is this way. Tail end of the night, um, we had our panel. We were doing a lot of cooking demos. Cole over there showing, you know, people what to look for when to finish uh, brisket cook. But successful night. Boss man. What up, Joe? Saturday night. How do you think it went? Really good. Oh, man. Just ate some direct heat ribs. Delicious. Cole's wrapping up some briskets. Good day. Class is technically over for tonight, but hey, we still gotta finish the job. This is where the magic happens. Hey, caption that right there underneath. Say that again. Yeah. This is where the magic happens. Perfect. Why does everyone say that, dude? Why is it something that is always said by every single person? It's because person? Like, people get really awkward in that. 
like situation and they don't know what to say and they just say something. Like, hey man, how long y'all cooked them briskets for? About eight, ten, sixteen hours, man. <laughs> yeah, y'all cook about 170 a day. Does that sound about right? A bunch of cattle, man. It's like, yeah, dude, none of that is right. <laughs> Joe. Remember the first time we pulled briskets together? Oh my god, let's not talk about that. That was the that, worst. Look, that was a bad night. I'm not going to lie. A bad night. And it wasn't our fault. And it wasn't anyone's fault. It was just this part would not be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What do you look for when you're finishing these briskets, man? Uh, you know, it's just like in the lean uh, something that somebody told me one time is really important. It's like middle part of the lean. Uh huh. It's like you should be able to like put your finger in it. Should make yeah. it indent. You should be able to like feel between those muscle fibers, but your finger like shouldn't go through the brisket. There right? you go. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, everyone says the same exact thing. Yeah. It's, we all do the same thing, whether it's foil boat. Whether it's butcher paper, whether it's foil all the way around, whether it's no wrap at all, we do the same thing. How's it, Chud? Good morning, boss. Our friend Chris McGee runs it, owns it. He used to work with Brad and I, Friedman. So yeah, good buddy. He cooks really good barbecue. You think he's doing some like normal barbecue stuff in the evening now? Like really good sausage maker. His ribs are like sick. Super talented guy. Go check it out. I wanted to. I wanted to just reach out one more time. Oh, whatever happened to this guy? didn't exist. You know, I love whoever kettle has a grill, but there's no coal access unless you lift the grates up. So then I built the grill where it has that little charcoal door on it. And then once we built the original chud box. It's for Brad's house for the other part of the class and they're doing sausage. So again, it's a really cool way to see how they make sausage and see where he makes his videos and all this kind of stuff. I mean, I like cheesy sausages, but they're kind of harder to reuse. We have that braised cabbage and sausage dish on our menu. Coming on Tuesday. Tuesday, I go in there. We batch everything out. I I, I batch everything out. Just cut this right in half. That's how we cut the catering right here. Shingle them down that way. And it's rendered and it is kind of it's just looser right like there's there's more kind of areas within that slice for it to collapse so the little bit thicker slices will help it stand up unique to your process or are there other places to do that i think that is something unique to our process is that nice <laughs> how's the food it's bloody good Awesome. What do you think? Perfect. Michelle, what do you think? It slaps. Oh, it slaps. There you go. Do I hear a collab? Yeah. All right. We can probably get a phone to be close to the crowd. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, that window doesn't look like a lock, so I'm just going to We got 40 minutes to go see Batman. Perfect. Let's do it. We're probably late to go see the movie, but we're going to Alamo House to watch Batman right now. Thoughts? Yeah. I mean, the only reason we put on this class was to get you <laughs> to come to Austin so you and me and Evan could go see Batman together. Hell yeah. After Spider-Man, this might be the next greatest superhero movie of all time. Who knows? Joe, you're hyping yourself up, man. And you're getting me there with you. I have my house. I am Batman. <laughs> You're watching the Batman. Here Batman. we go. Let's go. Batman. Finally here. <laughs> All right. Just stepped out of the Batman. This Just week. initial thoughts. This weekend is Spoiler alert. He dies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Of course. Of course. Dude, 
solid new take yeah. on, on on vengeance. Everything was so good. The <laughs> score, the acting, all that. And that was the so music, good. dude. The music. Yes. All right, maybe we'll we'll have to do more of these uh, walking out of theater movies. Yes. <laughs> yeah, really a stupid review we just yeah. gave. Well, we can't spoil it. It's still new, so. Yeah, yeah exactly. We'll have to do some more detailed one in the future.